Dengue is a viral disease that is transmitted by mosquitoes in tropical areas of the world. Infection with dengue virus can either be asymptomatic or cause a self-limiting fever with low platelets, known as dengue fever, or a severe disease indicated by capillary leak, intravascular volume depletion, severely low platelet counts, and a high-grade fever. In a small percentage of cases, it may result in hepatitis, encephalitis, or a life-threatening syndrome, called dengue hemorrhagic fever or DHF, or dengue shock syndrome. There are four distinctive types of dengue viruses, which are known to cause dengue. Infection with a specific kind of dengue virus builds lifelong immunity against it, but the person is still vulnerable to infection with the other types of dengue viruses. Infection with other kinds of dengue viruses in a person who already had a dengue fever in the past is known as secondary dengue. It has been found to be severe due to a more severe immunological response in the body. After recovering from a first dengue infection, an individual is protected from infection with the remaining three dengue serotypes for two to three months. It is not long-term protection, and after that short period, a person can be infected with any of the remaining three dengue serotypes. Typically, after an infection with a pathogen, the body remembers the infection for a long time because memory B cells and memory T cells remember the first infection and react rapidly to provide an adaptive response when an infection strikes a second time. Here the questions arise. Why don't these memory cells help fight off a second dengue infection? Why is a second dengue infection often worse than the first infection? This can be explained with the help of a phenomenon called antibody-dependent enhancement of infection. There are four serotypes of dengue viruses, but the memory cells only provide immunity from reinfection with the dengue serotype that caused the first infection. When a person is infected with a second dengue serotype, antibodies from the first infection help spread the dengue viral infection and increase the amount of virus in the bloodstream. This phenomenon can also occur in children who received antibodies against dengue from their mothers while in the womb. Shockingly, instead of destroying the virus, the existing antibodies and the antibodies newly produced by the memory B cells can help the virus to infect host cells more efficiently. Paradoxically, the outcome of antibody-dependent enhancement is that the body's immune system response makes the clinical symptoms of dengue worse and increases the risk of severe dengue illnesses. What other factors might increase that risk? Some chronic diseases, including asthma, sickle cell anemia, and diabetes mellitus, can increase a person's risk of developing a severe form of the disease. Variations in human leukocyte antigen alleles may also increase that risk. Even though much is known about how the body responds to dengue infections, researchers are still striving to answer many questions about the disease.